A phone is hiding in a modeling clay box. A selfie stick is disguised as a flower. And a power bank is closed in a cup. Do you think these devices and gadgets are playing hide and seek? Nope, this is our new video on how to sneak them into class and get away with it. Every first grader knows that no phone is allowed in class. And it turns out exactly in class that I have to check new likes and my friend has to listen to a new track immediately. But Miss Smith watches us like a hawk. No phones during her class. We will have to disguise our devices as school supplies. A phone with a calculator is old hat already. But we have a calculator with a cell phone. Unscrew a calculator that no longer works. Take out a processor and a keyboard. Trace a silicone phone case on a piece of a foam rubber sheet. Put the calculator on it and trace the holes. Cut it out. Attach the foam rubber detail to the keyboard and glue it to the phone case. Put your phone inside. The blue-eyed girl pretends that she completes a task, but in fact, she calculates the percentage of new followers on her Instagram page. But when Miss Smith wants to make a remark, she has nothing to pick on since there's a calculator in her hands. Need some energy to recharge? Let's charge with coffee! But this cup is not for me, it's for my phone! Put a power bank with a charging cord into a thermo cup. Pass the cord outside through the hole for drinking. Attach your phone to the cup using two rubber bands. Connect the cord to the phone. I take out my thermo cup and connect my phone to it. My friend suggests fastening it with rubber bands. Now we can watch videos and our classes will pass faster. Miss Smith keeps up with modern technologies as well. She likes taking selfies on the background of the blackboard with the hashtag, I love my job. But the class has already started and a perfect photo still isn't taken. It's great that she has a flower stash. Cut a foam plastic ball in half. Cut out a hole for a selfie stick in one half. Hot glue this half to the bottom of a flower pot. Put a selfie stick in it. Stick some springs with artificial flowers around it. The teacher puts her phone into a selfie stick and starts her math photo shoot. Miss Smith strikes her best poses. We hope that the PE teacher will check out her blooming look on these photos. While Miss Smith is busy with her Snapchat, we may take out our books. I've got a regular boring textbook, but my friend has got a pretty soft cover with a netbook inside. Take book binding board and cut out a piece to fit the side of the netbook, adding some space for the spine. Score the spine lines and bend the cover along them. Wrap the cover with a foam rubber sheet. Hot glue the edges. Decorate the back with the golden foam rubber. Hot glue a white zipper along the edge to let the book-shaped case zip. Fold the ends of the zipper inside. Hot glue the white foam rubber with rounded corners to the inside of the cover. Attach it to the spine too. Put in the netbook. Mark where you'll attach fasteners. And hot glue rubber bands to all of the corners. Cut the letter B and strips out of the black foam rubber sheet. Hot glue them to the golden spine. Decorate the case with golden paint. Draw a frame like the one on the regular book cover. Write a title. Fasten the netbook inside and zip it up. The blue-eyed girl spends the entire class looking into her netbook. The most important thing is to turn around the book when the teacher is looking at her. But Miss Smith is so deep in her favorite subject that she doesn't notice anything around her. Excellent! A book cover is a perfect disguise for a netbook when it's in class. Oh, the class is so boring! Miss Smith can make anybody fall asleep. The blue-eyed girl suggests some entertainment. She takes out her pencil case. Does she really think we are going to draw? Very fascinating. But it's not all about markers. The true value of the pen case is a PlayStation. Take a piece of thick felt. Mark off the middle and hot glue a rubber band to hold your school supplies. 
Mark the size of your PlayStation on the other side. Hot glue a rubber band and put in your PSP. Roll up the case. Attach a leather string. Wind it around the case a couple of times. Decorate the felt with figures or other embellishments. Once my friend sees my PlayStation, she starts arguing right away. Who will be the first to play? Miss Smith comes up at once when she hears us screaming. She has a good nose for the forbidden fun. Redhead takes revenge on her friend for being greedy and turns in the blue-eyed girl. The game seems to be over for the girls today, though it's just begun for Miss Smith. But the blue-eyed girl has a plan of how to take her PlayStation back. She will distract the teacher with an unusual pen. Tuck the earphone cord into a wide cocktail straw. From one side, there's a plug sticking out, and from the other, there are your earbuds. Wind a velvet ribbon around the straw and hot glue. Decorate the earphones with foam rubber flowers. The blue-eyed girl offers the flower pen to Miss Smith. Bingo! The teacher takes out the earphones and forgets about everything. It's a perfect time to take the PlayStation from under her nose. But Miss Smith is not even disappointed. She quickly plugs the earphones in her phone and listens to her favorite collection of Remix on Rock and Roll School by Ramones. Why is Miss Smith crying? Is she reading our What Do I Want to Be When I Grow Up essays? Or maybe she has something more interesting hidden in her notebook. Is it an ebook reader? Take a thick notebook and make a hole in it to fit the size of an e-reader. Cut out the pages to fit the depth of the device. Put in the e-reader and close the notebook. What is going on with the teacher? She has made no remarks for 10 minutes. Miss Smith is so deep in her novel that she doesn't even pay attention on her students. Such an exciting plot. It's a pity that the chapter is over and the teacher keeps on making her comments. It's getting way too cold in class. It's great that Redhead took a scarf along. It will not just warm you up, it will also help you hide an MP3 player. Cut out a silhouette of a rabbit head with ears from cardboard. Trace it on pink fleece. Cut out two details with some allowance. Sew them together. Leave a small hole and turn the rabbit right side out. Fill the toy with hollow fiber filling. Sew the hole. Draw eyes and a nose with a black marker. Decorate an ear with a button. Attach Velcro to the back. Sew the toy to the scarf. Attach only side parts and the bottom of the muzzle. Leave the top loose. This will be a pocket. Sew the other part of the Velcro to the scarf opposite the fastener on the rabbit. Put in the player and fasten the Velcro. Redhead puts the player into the rabbit, pulls the earphones under the scarf, and enjoys the music. Beyonce's voice is definitely better than Miss Smith's. The blue-eyed girl tries to tell something to her neighbor, but she doesn't hear. Excellent! She has a life hack too. She puts her MP3 player into the pocket of her shirt, winds the cord, and hides it under her hair. The sitting dances begin. A class of arts and crafts. I wish I made a phone from modeling clay, or I'd better take out mine, but the teacher may notice it easily. It's great that my friend's taking care of a stash. Take some bars of modeling clay out of the middle of the package. Mark the size of the empty space and cut out a piece of scrapbooking cardboard to fit in. Cover the space for the phone with the cardboard. Put in the device and close the box. The package of modeling clay is a perfect place to hide your phone. And if the teacher notices something, you can swipe the lid quickly, keep smiling, and modeling. Redhead has the easiest way to hide a tablet. It needs no cutting or gluing. Put a tablet into a paper folder with a rubber band. The girls are watching their favorite video right during the class, but Miss Smith wants to watch the movie too. The show begins right in the middle of the math class. The teacher's gotten so enthralled by the video that she forgets about forbidden devices in class. This is what we call interactive learning. 
Did you like our ideas? Then write in your comments which stash for your devices and gadgets you will make in class. And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new and interesting ideas from the Troom Troom channel.